Welcome. <laughs> what is PEMDAS or GEMDAS? So I'm really just gonna kind of work with PEMDAS just because that's the way I learned it and that's what I kind of uh, enjoy teaching from. However, I will explain different ways and different variations of really the same kind of roles. So what exactly is PEMDAS or GEMDAS? You know, why do we use this stuff? Well, you know, when we're talking about order of operations, um, we all know to add, subtract, multiply, divide. Um, we've learned about kind of grouping symbols and maybe powers and exponents. But you just can't, now that we know these operations um, and how to kind of arrange things, we just can't all of a sudden just do it however we want to. We have to have, there's a certain order that we need to follow. And that's what this acronym, uh, PEMDAS or GEMDAS, help us do. Now, I say this is an acronym because that's exactly what these represent. They represent the order that we need to follow for the rules because just like any language, you know, you can't say our nouns and our verbs. It matters which one you say first. And um, it also matters which mathematical operation we're going to apply first. So we use this acronym. I always like to remind, remember PEMDAS as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But I know there's multiple different ones, maybe even more enjoyable. I'm sure there's one for Gemnos that's awesome. Um, if you know it, please make sure you add it in there uh, in the question section. But I'm just going to use the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and explain to you what PEMDAS and Gemnos represent um, so at least have an understanding. Okay. So PEMDAS, first thing you ever want to do, and let's actually take a look at an expression, 3 times 4 squared plus 2 divided by 1. So let's take a look at an expression that has all of that in there. So the first thing that we need to make sure we do is our parentheses. Okay, now besides parentheses, the G, what we've kind of more gone to is grouping symbol because what you'll notice when we're going to be doing some of these problems we just don't use parentheses we also uh, use brackets as well so that's why we say grouping symbols but parentheses right really so the first thing you always want to do is your parentheses so inside my parentheses here I have 2 divided by 1 so that's going to obviously give me 2 divided by 1 is just 2 now the next thing is exponents now, exponents, um, again, is a little mathematically iffy because the exponent just represents, you know, you're on our top. Really, we also want to be dealing with um, powers. But I haven't really seen a good acronym uh, that works with PPMDAS, right? It just, I don't know, just PEMDAS just has such a great ring to it. So, but really, we're talking about powers because powers represents the base and the exponent. Um, and that's what we want to evaluate. So the next thing is we just want to do exponents or the powers. So 4, I see I have 4 raised to the second power would be 4 squared. So 4 squared is 16. All right, then the, la the next two is multiplication. And the important thing for multiplication and division, all right, these don't matter which order. And that's the biggest thing students forget. It doesn't matter which order. The main important thing we need to make sure we do is when we read our expression, we have to make sure we go from left to right. So don't just do multiplication before division because you see multiplication. Um, just work from the left to the right, just like you'd read a, a, uh, a sentence. So here, I only have one of them, which is multiplication. So 3 times 16 would be 48. And last, we have addition and subtraction. And addition and subtraction addition and subtraction work the exact same way. We need to make sure we go from left to right. So obviously I only have one addition problem here, so it's not too bad. 48 plus 2 is going to end up giving me 50. But what you'll notice is I, I don't want I want to keep this video short, but if you were to work this video or if you were to work these problems in different ways, if you started doing different operations first, you'd notice you'd get a totally different answer than 50. But that's a quick uh, expl explanation of what PEMDAS or GEMDAS is.